my secret weapon for growing successful melons this year. Let's go. So gardening naturally has kindly sent me a gift of an easy to grow system that I can water my melons with without me worrying. Due to my shifts in the hospital, I was a bit worried about getting over here all the time and making sure those melons are watered and I want to try and at least get some good melons this year on my plot. I've never grown them before and I want them to be a success. So the reason I'm creating this video is because Jane Kelly and Jim at the Lake Effect Gardener Last year they did a transatlantic melon challenge and I could, obviously couldn't participate because I didn't have a channel then. But this year you as a viewer can also join in. And yeah, I'm hoping this will help me. But let's get in the greenhouse. It's, I think it's going to rain. So let's get inside the greenhouse and get set up. So I am going to build this now. Um, should I read the instructions? Yes. Am I going to read the instructions? No. Um, I think it's pretty straightforward. Um, Garden Natri have sent me four of these growing pots so I'm hoping that I can use at least two for some melons and the other two on the outside I'm going to use for my cucumbers so I've already planted the cucumbers but I am going to lift them out they've only been in a few days and then we'll grow manure so we won't have to worry about watering those because they are very thirsty plants so the plan is that I'll put them around the back of here and yeah, so thank you gardening naturally for sending me these. This is going to give me that edge I think for growing melons this year. Am I going to win? Probably not. Will it be fun? Yes. Will Jane win? I hope so. But they might have the heat, you know, on the other side of the world. But we'll have the moisture, the humidity and also we'll have some extra help. Right, let's get these built. <laughs> oh my god, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> I am gonna have to read the instructions. <laughs> oh, why am I such a rebel at everything? Okay, let's go. Ah. Okay, so we've got this little piece. That comes off there. The line goes on. Okay, I think we're I think we're on to a winner here. I've read that these are fairly straightforward to build. So fingers crossed. We'll just unscrew that. Thread it through. And under here. Now the idea of these is because I work in the hospital. I know the tomatoes require some watering, but they are bedded into the soil and they will draw moisture from outside as well. I will keep an eye on them, but the melons and the cucumbers, they're such thirsty plants. So me having this tank that will give them all the water they need and I'll just keep topping it up every now and again. And I might even fit a, the pipe from outside inside so that the rainwater will constantly keep this filling up. So yeah, that'll be a future project, but let's get this done and we'll see how we get on. <laughs> like, what's going on? I can't even understand the blooming instructions. Right, start again. Okay, okay, we're now cooking on gas. The only thing I would say about this is that I wish the instructions were in colour because the pictures aren't the best, but we're going somewhere. <laughs> Are we? Top hat grommet, thought. Hole at the bottom here, and that goes in there, and then you push this little grommet into here. Now they said to put fairy liquid on to help it in. Do I have fairy liquid? No. <laughs> Do I wish I had fairy liquid? <laughs> oh. This should say on the front of the box needs fairy liquid for assembly. 
God, I just can't get it into this little hole. Okay. <laughs> Yay, we're in, we're in the hole. There, there we go. Oh. Right, what's this? <laughs> so the good thing about this setup as well is you can join as many of these as you want. Obviously, the more you add on, the more that you'd have to top this tank up on the end. And I'm sure you know you could, uh, you could add a bigger tank if you wanted to. But I think four's gonna be plenty. I'm gonna try this out. And I actually like this setup. And if I really get on with it, I might actually adapt the system and put more in because this will this would save me so much. I might even I might even get a few more, you know. But this will fit perfect across here now. And there you have it. I've now got my quad growing area by using this system. I absolutely love it. This is gonna save me so much effort and worrying about it. Especially with my shifts on, you know, in the hospital in the summer, because the one thing that the melons need is water. You know, they need a lot of water. And I think it was Jane Kelly that said that hers suffered a little bit last year because it was the constant watering. So I'm hoping, and Jane, if you can get older one of these, you know, this could be a game changer. This could be Team UK riding through to the finish line. So Jim, watch out, secret weapon. So I'm giving it a good nutrient packed compost. I want to give it the best chance it can have. So I'm not going to fill them to the top. I'm going to leave about two inches or so. And I, right, let's get all four done. So I'm really pleased with that. The easy to grow system. You can add as many as you want, like I said. I'm just, I'm so happy that this is going to help me now with my melon season, because I was a bit worried about it, you know? And it's such a commitment, you know, having a greenhouse and coming over, especially on the summer, when the time when you're growing and you want to go on holiday, at least now it's one less job that I have to worry about. So thank you again, Gardening Naturally, for that. And this, I'm sure, is going to help me. So fingers crossed, we're on to a winner. So if you're like me, you have welcomed this rain. It has been well overdue. You know, we've had a dry April and a fairly dry May as well. I have been, I was excited to hear that it was going to rain, but you know, plant accordingly. You know, I knew it was going to rain today, so I made sure yesterday I spent most of the day planting out and I got all my jobs done. You know, I, I did the, I put all the beans out, the pongo beans from Bill and Val. I put the crimson crushed tomatoes, I put them out so they would have a good watering in and I weeded the beds, removed all the onions out of the bed because I want them to dry. I put them on a rack at the back and then I also covered it with plastic because I knew it was going to rain. Keep them dry and let them just dry off for a few days and then I'll string them all up. So I'm late over the day because a viewer, Lisa, she contacted me and said, how are your melons going? And I only had success for one variation of cantaloupe. So she said, pop over. It was, she was a 40 minute drive away and it was well worth the drive. She lives in the beautiful countryside of Lydney and yeah, she had the most fantastic garden. You know, as soon as I walked in, I was in awe. Even Nile Gardens himself would have been jealous of, his, of her orchard. It was absolutely beautiful. It was rammed, packed full of apple, pear, plum and cherry trees, and even a few moles. But yeah, I was so overwhelmed by the amount of space. For their, their growing space was enviable. You know, I was so jealous i was so jealous of the area so thank you again lisa for helping me out with those cantaloupes and that's what i love about the youtube community gardening so a month or two ago nile garden suggested that his viewers pop over to my channel and have a little look and lisa was one of them and in turn i said to go and have a look at jane's channel and she then went to jane's channel seen about the melon challenge and then pop back over to my channel onto my channel and then suggested to give me the melon so that's why i love that there's a circle you know the circle and there's a community of viewers that i love that are all helping each other and you know if i've got something and you know there's been viewers that have popped into my plot as well and taken seeds away you know it's all about sharing and that's what i love about gardeners we're always happy to pass on our extra things one we don't want them Two, we don't want them to die, and we sue. We, we definitely would like to share them with other people. I'm gonna head home, wash up. So, as always, take care, guys, and I'll see you all again soon.